Uganda is a landlocked country in East Africa. Uganda is known as the Pearl of Africa. During the past two decades, Uganda has experienced a high rate of economic growth, significant reduction in poverty rates. The Ugandan economy has made progress. In this video, we will show you the biggest current and future projects in Uganda. But first share the video and subscribe to the channel. Kuruma Hydropower Plant Project It is one of Uganda's and major infrastructure projects. It will become the largest hydroelectric power plant in the country when completed. It will significantly increase Uganda's power generation capacity and accelerating the pace of industrialization in Uganda, thus attracting more foreign investors. 98.5% of the hydroelectric power plant has been completed. The completion rate of the transfer and transfer part has reached 95%. The project has entered the stage of operation and finishing. The Kaluma hydropower plant has created a large number of local jobs. During the peak period of the project, Uganda is seeking more than 976 million US dollars. It will be used to update the existing railways, damaged railways, to finance the repair of major parts of the Cedar Railway, by locomotives, freight cars and engines. The project is expected to be completed within the next five years. Secondly, Uganda is negotiating with the Export-Import Bank of China on the financing of the proposed modular railway project. Two billion dollars in funds may be available within a year. The project is expected to start in the first year or two after negotiations. The extension of the railway will reduce the cost of exports to the country, thus increasing Uganda's export earnings. CGGC has signed a contract with Uganda contracting for 500 megawatts PV projects in Moroto and elsewhere in Uganda. It handles a range of tasks from design to construction and operation. The total investment in the contract is about 3.5 billion yuan. After the project is completed, it will be beneficial to the sustainable development of Africa and global energy. Uganda announced plans to build four solar farms. A 10 megawatt solar and electric power plant will be established. AMIO also plans to build the largest facility in the Karamoja region in northeastern Uganda. The solar plant will be able to supply 80 megawatts of electricity to Uganda's grid. Upon completion, the new project will increase the installed capacity of the African continent. Uganda has abundant energy resources. It is evenly distributed throughout the country. Uganda has announced plans to build wind power in two regions of Uganda. A 10 megawatts wind farm will be constructed in the West Nile region in northwestern Uganda. The implementation of the project will start before January 2021. AMIO also plans to build the largest facility in the Karamoja region in northeastern Uganda. A 120 megawatts wind farm will be built. Upon completion, the new project will increase the installed capacity of the African continent. The pipeline will be constructed and operated by the pipeline company. It is owned by the Uganda National Oil Corporation and the Tanzania Petroleum Development Corporation. It will be partly refined in Uganda to supply the domestic market and partly exported to the international market. The export to the international market will be via East Africa Crude Oil Export Pipeline. The 1,445 km pipeline starts at Hima in Graven, western Uganda. It ends at Tanga Port in Tanzania. At peak production, it will transport 216,000 barrels of crude oil per day. Because of the waxy nature of Ugandan oil, it will be one of the longest crude oil export pipelines in the world. The project cost is estimated at 3.5 billion US dollars. This project is a joint venture between Uganda and Total. The final investment decision will allow the construction of a major oil pipeline for Total. 
extracting more than 1 billion barrels of crude oil from Uganda, and shipped to East Africa and then to the coast. Uganda plans to start pumping crude oil in 2024. This will put Uganda in a leadership position in the next few years. The investment cost of the project is $5.1 billion. German contractor Stabog will implement a road development project, worth 54 million euros in northern Uganda. The project includes the extension of a key of 66 kilometers in the north of the country. This project is co-financed by the European Development Fund. Strabag will widen and pave the existing gravel road, which connects the cities of Ashik and Larup. Construction is scheduled to begin in March 2020. It takes 30 months to complete. This road is located in remote northern Uganda. It is an important transportation hub to Kampala in the south of the Ugandan capital. The road is also connected to the White Nile at Larup in the north of the country. The company is also building a ferry terminal. The Chinese company will build a submarine power cable on Lake Victoria in Uganda. The project includes laying a 33km submarine cable. It is 7 kilometers deep at the bottom of Lake Victoria, and 2 with a length of 33 kilometers in Bokasata and Bogoma, and a KV substation and 27 distribution transformers. Other tasks include the construction of medium and low voltage networks, installation of distribution transformers and protection equipment and installation of last mile connections including the provision of service cables to approximately 1,651 potential consumers, installing prepaid electricity meters and electricity distribution panels. Uganda prepares to launch the Kampala Jinja Smart Highway. Chinese companies may participate in this way. This includes the southern corridor of Kampala which is expected to help reduce congestion in the capital's streets. It will make transportation more convenient in and around Kampala. The project will be developed on the basis of design, build, finance, operate, maintain and transport with a concession period of 30 years. In your opinion, which of these projects is the best in Uganda? Are there projects that we did not mention? Write it in the comments. Here we come to the end of the video. Share the video and subscribe to the channel.